We're gonna finish our talk on the cardiovascular system by talking about cardiovascular tumors. Cardio cardiovascular tumors. We'll start with the first half of a cardiovascular system, our heart. Now, heart tumors, incredibly rare. There's only two types, one of them seen in adults, one of them, one of them seen in children. So the first one that's seen in adults is called a myxoma. Mix, how do you spell <laughs> Myxoma, there we are. So this is seen in adults. And it creates this little pedunculated mass, pedunculated mass, often in your left atrium. All right, so if you see a little pedunculated mass in your left atrium, myxoma, easy peasy. They want you to know that it can cause syncope. As you can imagine, this mass can compress on valves or, out, or obstruct outflow and cause syncope. Also, it causes a diastolic plop, diastolic plop that you can hear. So in systole, when your heart contracts, it'll push the blood, it'll flop this mass up. And then in diastole, when your heart relaxes, the little pedunculated mass will fall back down, cause a little plop, diastolic plop. Why do they call it myxoma? Myxoma means there's a ton of mucus, mucus in there. You also see connective tissue. All right, so you see a ton of mucus, and they say it looks like ground glass. They say ground glass for everything. Uh, ground glass just means kind of like a powdery look to it. All right, when you like kind of when you ground glass has that powdery look well it has this powdery pink look to it picture will be in my notes that is myxoma the second one affects children and that is rhabdo myoma this is a hamartoma what does that mean this is an overgrowth of normal tissue all right benign overgrowth of normal tissue seen in the kid kid Okay. What it is associated with, however, that might not be too benign is tuberous sclerosis. Pause the video. <laughs> Tell me everything you know about tuberous sclerosis. If you haven't done uh, my neuro videos and just flag this video, come back to it. If you have done it, then tell me everything you know about tuberous sclerosis. I'll give you a second. That's the one that causes angiofibromas of the, around the nose, the light ash green patches, the kind of rough, bumpy, shea green patches, and then angiomyolipomas of the kidneys. Okay, hopefully you said those things. If you did, again, you're on a great track to a great score. If you didn't, that's all right. We still have a lot of time together. Just kind of be able to get to that level, okay? Tuberous sclerosis. These are heart tumors. Let's talk about some vascular tumors. All right, we have two parts of our cardiovascular system. We have the heart, we have our vessels. So let's talk about vascular tumors. You can have a strawberry hemangioma, basically a overgrowth of blood vessels. And it's seen in little kids, you see this little red bump. What do you do about it? You do nothing because they often resolve. All right, okay, it can grow, 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 and then it just kind of resolves and goes away. So don't do anything, all right, don't do anything. I have gotten a question on it. We'll show a picture of it, and then say, what do you want to do? Don't do anything, okay? All right, kids, seen in kids. There's one that's seen in adults, we call that cherry hemangioma. <laughs> Someone must have been hungry when they were naming all these things. The name doesn't quite matter because the age gives it away. If it's seen in an elderly, then it's a cherry hemangioma. And these don't resolve. And oftentimes you wouldn't do anything anyways. I mean, they're old, they don't really care. <laughs> I've seen a ton of these on a ton of elderly people. They don't seem to mind them too much. So they don't resolve, but you don't usually do anything with them anyways. Next one is glomus tumor. Has blood vessels in the tumor and is seen under the fingernail. Fingernail. The only thing you need to know. A little bump under your fingernail, columbus tumor, done. Pyogenic, granuloma. This is a little polyp that is associated with things like physical trauma and hormones. So you see it in pregnancy. So physical trauma and hormones, the hormones part, that's why it shows up in pregnancy. The physical trauma part, if someone has like constant irritation of their finger and then grows this little polyp, pyogenic granuloma. 
Our next one, and the last one for our vascular tumors is gonna be angiosarcoma. Sarcoma, that's a malignant tumor. This is a malignant tumor of your blood vessels. So malignant. All right, and you can see it, it often starts from the head down. And so you see these red growing rash that kind of moves down. That's an angiosarcoma. And you might say, we've already talked about angiosarcoma when we talked about our GIT section. We talked about angiosarcoma of the liver. And we talked about some risk factors for that, like arsenic, like PVC. Same things here. Same things apply here. You get exposure to arsenic, you get exposure to PVC, you get angiosarcoma, all right? So why would the risk factors be different? And risk factors are the same. Those are your tumors. There are two more that are related to HIV. So I just wanna take, take some time to talk about it separately. So there are two more related to HIV. So, so if someone comes in with a rash and is vascular in nature, cardiovascular in nature, and they have HIV, think of these two. So there's only two of them, only two of them, and they look exactly the same. So we're gonna try and tell them apart. One is Kaposi and one is Bacillary NG omatosis okay kaposi is a vascular tumor caused by an infection of the virus hhv8 so there's a virus and when we have viruses what cells amount an attack against the viruses is it going to be your neutrophils no it's going to be your lymphocytes often lymphocytes okay bacillary angiomatosis is due to the bacteria Bartonella hensleyi. Okay, and Bartonella hensleyi microscopically looks like a rod. That's why we call it bacillary. Bacillary means rod-like. Okay. So there's a bacteria, and when we have bacteria in our blood, what cells mount an immune response to it? Is it going to be neutrophils or is it going to be lymphocytes? It can be neutrophils. Neutrophils. And if that isn't enough to give it away. Bartonella is seen in cats, so they'll talk about some cat exposure, or they got scratched by a cat, and then developed all these red bumps, vascular problems. That is bacillary angiomatosis. Hopefully you can tell these two apart. That is vascular tumors. That is our cardiovascular block. Thanks for a great block. See you next time.